Hello, this is Tim Jones from Accelerate Computer Training, FileMaker Authorized Trainer. Recently a client asked me about how to keep track of when a record was created in a FileMaker database and when it was last modified. Here are four fields that I include in every one of the tables that I make in a FileMaker database and the auto entry options that I assign to them. So let's say here in the contact table we want to keep track of when each contact record, record was created. So the first field we'll make will be called created by. It'll be a text field. And then options on that field we'll assign will be auto enter. That means when a record is created, assign into that field the name, account name that is, not regular name, of the user who created that record. Why not use name? Because name can be spoofed. Account name cannot be. Name is set in the preferences command in FileMaker, and someone can decide on any given day to be whatever name they want to be just by typing a new name in there. Account name, however, is the name that they used to log into this FileMaker database, and they can't spoof that. If they try, they just won't be allowed into the database. And then also, more important, most importantly, turn on prohibit modification of value so that no one can come in and change the value in this created by field afterwards. Likewise, we'll do a modified by field or changed by field. Also a text field, options, creation, no, excuse me, modification, account name. And this keeps track of the last change that was made to, to one of the values in one of the fields of the current record. And as before, we'll prohibit users from modifying the account name that gets stamped into this changed by field automatically. We'll also make a created on field. And this can be either a date or a timestamp if you want to be more specific. Options. And set the creation timestamp. Because it's a timestamp field, Timestamp is the only creation option we're given. And we'll keep users from being able to monkey around with that value by turning on prohibit modification. And then finally, same thing, we'll make a changed on field. Also a timestamp, options, setting it to the date and time of when that record was most recently modified. Now keep in mind that the changed on and changed by fields are not going to keep a running history uh, like an audit trail. They simply note when the most recent change was made. But at least it gives you some sense of history and if a record has bad data in it you can track it down to who did that and when. We'll prohibit the changing of that uh, modification timestamp and we'll say OK. Now each of these four fields is so useful that I routinely copy them into any of the other tables in the database. And if you have FileMaker Pro Advanced, you have Copy and Paste buttons. So I just selected those four fields, copied them, I'm going to go into my other table in this database, Notes, and Paste, and then there's nothing else that you have to do. They're already contextually appropriate. We'll say OK. And I'll lay these fields out onto the layout, like so. And now as I make a new record, you can see that it automatically gets stamped with the uh, username of who created this record and when, and of course the modification account name and uh, date and time are the same at this point. But then if we were to make changes to any of the other field values, the changed by and changed on fields would update instantly. Thanks for watching. Check out more of our videos on YouTube or visit our website, accelerate.computer.com.